Welcome to the Cybersecurity Sales Made Easy podcast, where you get real-world growth and mindset hacks, all designed to accelerate your journey to become a cybersecurity hero for your small business clients. And now, here's your host, Cybersecurity Sherpa, Jennifer Bleem. Hey, hey, thank you so much for joining me. So for the next couple of days, I want to talk to those of you who are MSPs or IT service providers that haven't quite made the transition to becoming a cybersecurity professional. So you probably know you need to, you know you need to keep your clients safe. You certainly have a desire for some self-preservation, you know, to keep those bad guys out of your network. Unfortunately, you are now part of the supply chain and the, the threat actors have identified you as that proverbial low-hanging fruit. And so I want to keep you from becoming that next victim, that next headline that we all read about. So in order to do that, you've got to take action. You've got to take that first step. Now, I want to make you feel just a little bit better. Most IT service providers have not fully figured out cybersecurity. Now, when I say that, let me paint for you very quickly what success looks like and why I can say that. So when I say security professional, I mean that they have created their ideal cybersecurity solution stack and they've figured out their pricing based on what they want their margins to be. They have sold it to all of their clients. They require it for all new clients coming in. So all net new clients, they have figured out how to leverage cybersecurity inside of their marketing and their positioning. And they are the go-to expert when it comes to cybersecurity in their geography. Now that is what it means means to be a cybersecurity expert. And rest assured, there are very few companies who have actually gone to that level of success. So you are not completely behind. Now, if you are like a lot of companies that I talk to each week, you are probably struggling to get out of the starting blocks. You're maybe in a little bit of overwhelm. You know you need to take action. You know why you need to take that action, but you're struggling to actually figure out what to do to start. So that's what I'm gonna be talking to you all about this week are just some very simple steps to get you out of the starting blocks. But before we go there, I wanna give you a little bit of a hint on why you're feeling Feeling so overwhelmed. And it's that lovely thing called the animal brain, or you may hear it called the monkey brain. Now what happens is your, your heart or your brain gets an idea. You know, maybe that idea is let's go to market with cybersecurity, or that idea could be let's go to the gym today. Whatever that idea is that's new that you've never done before, and there's no muscle memory for, your brain gets that idea and then you pause. And maybe you pause to gather your workout gear, or you pause to think about whether or not this is really a good day to go for a run, or maybe you pause because you're not sure what that first step is to becoming a cybersecurity expert. Well, it is that pause that is killing you because it's the pause that triggers your animal brain that something new is about to happen. And your animal brain sees that, that pause as danger. This could hurt, this could kill us, this could be a bad thing. The danger, you know, waves the, the, the flag and says danger Will Robinson and tells you to stop because your animal brain sees that pause as a sign of danger. And your animal brain's job is to keep you out of danger. So you don't wanna stop having those great ideas like going for a run or creating a new division in your, in your business or maybe surprising your spouse with a present or going to market with cybersecurity. Those are all great ideas, but what you need to do is shortcut your animal brain by getting rid of that pause. Well, how do you get rid of that pause? You guessed it, by springing into action, all right? So my one of my coaches tells me to starve fear with time. In other words, the longer you think about something, the bigger and hairier and uglier and scarier it gets. You probably remember laying in bed as a kid and you heard something creak and you convinced yourself it was the boogeyman. And, and pretty quickly that house creaking or the stairs creaking became this completely illogical monster that didn't actually exist. 
but it didn't matter because you laid in bed and you let that fear get bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, what I want you to do is to starve that fear with time and to take action. I'm going to give you several very easy things you can do to take action to become that cybersecurity hero. And I'll be doing that over the next couple of days. You can tune in either on my Facebook page, inside of my Facebook group, or inside of LinkedIn. I will post all of my videos there. And that's what I want to encourage you is that if you have not quite gotten started, you're not alone. I am here to help you get out of the starting blocks and to starve that fear with time. I'm going to give you some specific tips to get you started down this journey and up the fabulous mountain that I call the cybersecurity mountain. When you get to the top, you are a cybersecurity hero. That is what I want for you. I am helping IT companies do that every single day. So let me know if I can help. Again, I'm Jennifer Bleem, Cybersecurity Sherpa, signing off for now. To learn more about how you can become a cybersecurity hero for your clients, request your hero assessment today. MSPSalesRevolution.com forward slash hero.